cold in here, can you tell? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Let's see. Um, aside from, you know, the obvious of this. Uh, let's see. Uh, welcome to Canada, eh? Yeah. Alright, so. It's currently Saturday. Nerds of the North here. It's currently Sunday. Saturday. Oh, it is Saturday. Sorry. It is Saturday. Sorry. You'll get a day ahead of yourself. Two o'clock in the morning. We just watched The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. Neil almost predicted it right, that it was Smog at the very end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the voice in the darkness actually did come pretty close to picking the end of this movie. <sighs> so. I... I don't know, man. I, I like the way they started it off. I but, love the way they started this off, with another flashback reminiscent of how they did Two Towers. Yeah, it, it would be weird if they kind of just went into the whole... Uh, bear scene and all that, but yeah. I even then I like that whole part. Oh, seeing Bjorn was great. I'm trying um, to think. I'm trying to not think Space Wolf when I hear that name, but <laughs> c'est la vie. <laughs> um, so yeah, Hobbit: Desolation of Smaug. Great, great movie. Yeah. What do you think of the 3D? Considering you're not a fan. I found it, actually, I still found it slightly out of focus. Um, I am going to have to come back and watch this again with my 2D glasses. Yeah. Just to see what uh, what we got for a proper, um, you know... Whether it's worth it or not, the 3D. Yeah, whether it's worth it for the 3D. I'm not a fan of 3D. I'm really not. I understand this movie was entirely filmed with 3D. I just, I don't know. I don't like it that much. Uh, you definitely got, uh, there's a love, lo bunch of funny moments in here. Yeah, yeah. I kind of think the writers of this movie, um, either play, yeah, definitely played a lot of Skyrim. <laughs> because Killy used to be a dwarf until he took an arrow in the knee. Yeah, yeah. Holy crap. Was that actually, was that in the book where he got I, hit? I do I not know. remember Killy ever getting injured. Okay. I don't. Uh, I'll have to reread re the book to double check on that, but <laughs> that would be pretty funny if it's straight like Skyrim reference. Straight Skyrim reference for the hell of it. Yeah. Uh, getting out, getting away from the elves in the river. I remembered that in the barrels. Uh, the bomber tank barrel was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have to admit. Okay, I was dreading. Legolas being in this movie, aside from him looking like a complete ponce because he's now 10 years older and the makeup just doesn't work. Actually, yeah, he does look way different. He looks yeah. so different. Like, the elves age. Yeah. Sorry, but they do. <laughs> uh, it was good. Um, I didn't mind him as much as I thought I did, mostly because they kept him to the back and they kept his mouth shut. Yeah, he yeah. wasn't in it nearly as much as I was concerned. And when he was in it, he was doing the stuff I didn't mind. Like, he was killing orcs. Great. In, you did your job, buddy. In a crazy fashion. Yeah, speaking of orcs, did it not seem those orcs were insanely good at stealth? Like, they snuck right up to the wood elf base. They were maybe, like, ten yards away. How yeah. good are these guys? They're orcs. With wargs, of course. Yeah. Not to mention they did it again at the human village. Yeah. Humans I can understand, yeah, but you... yeah, that was, that was just silly. Yeah. That's about as silly as our D&D campaign with a minotaur rogue. Yeah. <laughs> clip plop, clip plop, well sneak attack. <laughs> <sighs> Back to the movie. No, the movie was very, very enjoyable. Uh, well, pl well paced. The story flowed actually pretty well. I didn't find it bogging down anywhere. No. Well, um, the moment it started to bog down, we jumped to another character. Yeah. Okay. the The whole scene with um, uh, what's the girl's uh girl Tario. elf Tario. That whole scene with him, uh, with her, like kind of when they're in the cells. Oh, the this the story with Killy. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of that kind of slowed it down for a couple minutes there, but yeah, that was that was a little interesting, but. I didn't need a Legolas the dwarf other chick love triangle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, there's a big love triangle starting up here. It's going to be great. Yeah. 
I call she dies in the third movie. Yeah, I kind of predict that since it's sacrifice. She, yeah, sacrifices herself for that for uh, Killy. Yeah, I can see that coming. Now, it's interesting because in the book, The Hobbit, you never got like Gandalf left, but you and heard. all it ever said was he had to join with the wizards to deal with the necromancer. That's it. Oh, yeah. yeah Spoiler alert. Uh, captured and sent to prison a lot. Yeah. Ga I was going to say there's Gandalf a walks into a trap because yeah. he likes getting... He's got a fetish for being captured. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Spoiler alert. Necromancer is fucking Sauron. <laughs> Duh. Could have seen that coming. Could have seen that one coming from a mile and a half away. Yeah. That was a pretty epic scene, though. Don't where... need all the lines of, My master serves the one. <laughs> or, the ring race have only obeyed one master. No shit, Sherlock! Yeah, that was pretty obvious. Um, this whole scene, though, where he shows himself, that was pretty epic. It was really epic. Um, I like the fact that they showed the silhouette of Sauron. Yeah. I would have liked seeing the silhouette of Sauron in his elvish form. Uh, just to kind of tease Gandalf a little bit more, but seeing him in the battle armor was uh, pretty good for a silhouette. Well, that's how he was when he discorporated, right? So. That is true. That's when his power became, that was where he was. So he broken into that form. And as we were talking about before, there was a couple... The that fucking the ring works fast, by the yeah. way. <laughs> Holy crap! Bilbo had it like two days and he's already insane over it. Yeah, yeah. Bilbo's had the ring yeah. like for no time frame and he's already going insane. And, uh, yeah, that, that spider that he kills, by the way? Yeah. That spider's a baby. Well, yeah. I figured that from the way it was all deformed. <laughs> it, it, took one, it, well, it, it took one sword to the leg. All it did was it had to nudge the ring, and Bilbo goes, Kill Crazy! Yeah. That was, yeah. The, um... I did like the fact that, like, they kept the scene of... Oh, did anybody else notice, like, apparently when Bilbo wears the ring, he understands black speech? Yeah, I noticed that. He understands spider Or at least as well. the audience that? understands black speech. Yeah, but he could understand spiders. Like, do they use black speech? Apparently so, because it's all the same thing, I guess. Who knows? That's either done for the audience, but it, it was really weird and disjointed. Otherwise, yeah, you got the great scene of Sting being named. Yeah. <laughs> Sting! Hey, that's a nice name! <laughs> Duh. Uh, Erebor. That was a nice, yeah, nice set piece. What exactly powers the forges? I mean, smog ignited them, but was there fuel already in it? Do they run on? Well, propane? you seen the like, you seen the air fan. That was it. So obviously, that just kind of keeps. Yeah, yeah it, I mean, that just keeps the flame. Yeah, going. it just keeps it, it going. What it what it's fueled like yeah. coal or something. I actually wondered that when they ignited it, but I'm not. I'm not sure what the fuel is. Um, I I'm glad they like. Is it just me, or... Like, how hot do those fires have to be to melt that much gold that fast? Yeah, Insane it's... Hot. I know it's, gold melts quickly, yeah, but... The like camera 3, kept... 3,000 degrees. The camera kept panning back to, uh... Bomber the, working the bellows. Yeah, and then the gold, like, at the top, like, it was waiting for it. Like, the camera... Like, obviously, it seemed really fast, yeah. but... I don't know. Like, they tried to make it seem like it was longer than it was. Yeah, it was, uh... Like, Good job. Uh, we've ar we've already got the hint. Um, uh, it's gonna. I have to admit, it's gonna feel a little bit like Dragonheart when it comes to the uh, <laughs> next movie. No, you gotta hit him in the damage scale. Yeah, it's funny. Right. Nobody, okay. nobody else noticed that other than Bilbo yet. Does that even get like brought up later on? Yeah. Well, they mentioned it that um, the guy's father. He knows that underneath the left wing, he's yeah, chipped away a scale. But the rest in of the, the dwarves... It's a bird that tells that guy. Oh, yeah. I'm 90% sure it's a bird. <laughs> I will post an annotation after I read that book to figure <laughs> out whether or not that is true. If it is true, how the fuck does a human understand a bird? It's one of those talking thrushes. Talking thrushes. Oh, yeah. It's been a while since I read it, but I'm 90% sure on that. Wow. Hmm. Wow, 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 wow. But, uh, yeah, it, it was really, I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I I like the fact that, remember I kept saying that Gandalf's staff is wrong? Yeah. yeah. 
That's why. I li <laughs> yeah, that's why Gandalf's staff is wrong. <laughs> uh, that's going to be cool because... That makes sense. It makes sense. And you, now he, he has to get a new staff for fellowship. Okay, that makes... Tie-in! Fantastic! Um, we had the great Peter Jackson cameo. Yeah, I see Right that. first thing in the movie. First person you see, pretty much. He, he, it's like he recreated the exact cameo. The only thing he was missing was he wasn't eating a carrot. There was there was a lot of recreated scenes in uh, this movie. Yeah, but it, it, Elvish <laughs> healing. Oh yeah. If I was the one filming this movie, I would want to do that kind of thing. It's been ten years. It's, yeah, it has been ten years since uh, Fellowship. A lot of them are pretty nostalgic about what they did before, so like it's kind of yeah, it's it's good. Expected. It's good <laughs> that we got uh, they tied that in. It made it feel more yeah a part of the whole yeah. Like, coming down to, uh, oh, we need FLS. What's that? That's a weed. We feed that to the pigs. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> FLS. <laughs> but, like, the way the way it ended, man, that was... Uh, that's a killer spot to end the movie. Like, it was... That, yeah, that, was spot, that spot to end the movie was as perfect and as annoying... Yeah. ...as Harry Potter 7 Part 1 ending with Dobby's death. Yeah. That was pretty annoying. So, as you can tell, Hobbit 3 is going to be the War of the Ring. Yep. War, sorry, War of the Five Armies, not War of the Ring. <laughs> War of the Ring! War of the Ring was the original, was what Tolkien wanted to call Return of the King. Oh. Yeah, yeah he I... hated the title Return of the King, eh? He's like, what? Why do you want to give the book the title Return of the King? That's going to tell you what happens! Yeah, that's true. Call it War of the Ring! Huh. He lost. Yeah, uh, you know, we caught this in AVX again. Definitely. The, the sound was yeah. worth it. Yeah. Every so. dragon roar was shaking my chair, and we didn't see it in D-Box. <laughs> D-Box would have been amazing. Do we want to try D-Box for the next show that revolves going down to the city? No, I don't think I could. We'd have to find a way down there, especially in this weather. Oh, oh we can easily get down there. Uh. Easily. Viva to Richmond Hill Center, transfer onto the Orange, go to Downsview, you're at Yorkdale. Yeah. I, yeah. Right? We Round they, trip, we can do it for 10 bucks. Have they announced when the third one? No, they haven't done that. They're going to the do it afterwards. You want to know when the third one's going to be? Exactly. You're Next right Christmas. No. 365 days from now, we'll be sitting back in this car, freezing our ass off again. Is this when the first one came out? I think yeah. So. It was, yeah, I guess it was roughly the same thing. Yeah, what fucking temperature is it? Can you check that it somehow? Is minus, my car says minus 14, but I did look and it said with the wind chill tonight, it's supposed to go down to minus 27. Okay, uh, for everyone else out there who doesn't understand Canadian weather, that's about zero Fahrenheit. That's about batshit fucking crazy cold. <laughs> batshit crazy cold. That, there's a new definition for the ages. <laughs> Fuck. How was Hobbit Desolation on Smog? Bat shit crazy cold. Yeah. That's how it was. Jesus Christ. No, great movie. Um, anybody, anything else anybody got to say about the movie? Anything else that annoyed you that you wanted to uh, rip into? <laughs> well, did you notice uh, when the girl leaves? Yeah. How the guards were like, oh, she hasn't come back yet. She left like four fucking minutes ago. Yeah. How long could she have been gone? Well, no, when she left, didn't he? He said, what about, uh, she, yeah, well, there was only like a few minutes of conversation afterwards. Now, unless Legolas dragged his yeah. ass to the gate. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Which I don't really see him doing that because his father gave him an order. I like the fact that they showed the father has faced the dragon already once. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm surprised he's the, uh, you know, all got off that easy. Oh, he's got one of the three rings. Yeah, well, unless it's regen, all I'm saying is that dragon fire should melt his face right off. Yeah, that that is true. That is true. So, uh, yeah, that we got that. Um, there, it let it stand here and now. There is a standing bet. <laughs> yeah. If Gandalf gets rescued from the cage, but <laughs> by summoning a bird. Well, is that not discussed in the book at all? Who he well, like the, how he gets no, out? No, Gandalf just Gandalf shows up when Bilbo's there. like after the Lake Towns after they beat the dragon. Bill, uh, Gandalf just shows up and goes, Ah, yeah, I had to go fight an necromancer. Shall I take you how back you to the Shire? Do? So, do you think they'll show it in the movie, or he'll just show oh, up? Oh, you know they're gonna show it. Yeah, well, that's how they fit three movies out of one book. <laughs> <laughs>
padding, 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 padding. <laughs> but I didn't mind the padding so much in this. Like, no, I, I like really enjoyed it. The first one. Yeah. You like this one more than the first one? Yeah. The first one seemed a little too ridiculous at times. You know, that thing with the goblins underground and everything. No. I am upset about less, one thing. Uh, silly in this. There were no songs! Yeah, see... I, I wanted a song! I, I didn't. I so. kind of <laughs> figured that out by looking at the soundtrack, but... I wanted a song! Yeah. Oh well. I'll keep Blunt the Knives and Misty Mountains in my head. Yeah. Been there all day anyways. Yeah. So, trailers. We had uh, Captain America. Can't go wrong. Well, didn't look too bad. Captain America vs. S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm betting on America. Yeah. <laughs> America. Fuck yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's a... Uh, it looks like a good movie. It was a different trailer than the one we saw last time. We had Godzilla. Yeah, Godzilla. Godzilla in San Francisco. Yep. Couldn't do worse than that Matthew, Bro Matthew Broderick version. Thing was cool. That's a lot of fish. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna backhand you. <laughs> what does that's a lot of fish have to do with anything? <laughs> God damn it. And what was the other one? Oh. Uh, oh, uh, we're Ronin. 47 Ronin? No. 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 I wish it was 47 Ronin. We oh, got yeah, 300 getting... Rise of Bitch Face. Yeah. That's true. I'm sorry. This is dumb. I don't need to see Vespa from Casino Royale leading the Persian army. Thank you very much. <laughs> but, see, I don't know, man. I Regardless of how skimpy silk, black silk you clatter in, yeah. I don't need to see that. Yeah. You wanted to continue 300, you were left with the perfect opening at the end of 300. David Wenham leading the army against the Persians. There's your continuation right there. No, yeah. it's a vengeance battle between <laughs> Queen oh, Black guy. Silk and Leonidas's wife. Widow. Because, you know, that makes sense. Her being not trained in weapons at all. Well, apparently every Spartan... Women or men, or it never said that in the movie. It may, maybe it, it was implies that true. I don't know, but it never said that about the women. That's true. It never says that the women will pick up a, a sword, but I can see it happening from the Spartans. If anyone's gonna do it, it's them. Yeah. So that was it for trailers. What have we got next in our review list? Oh, what's next? Well, are we coming back on uh, Christmas? Well, ne coming up next is Anchorman. Do you want to go see that? I, I I don't know. I don't know if I can stand a Ron Burgundy fest. See, I, I, I can handle it. I've seen the first one a few times. Delivery Man's already in theaters. Yeah, see, I don't... Yeah. Coming up next, I guess it's... Uh, would it be straight... Yeah, it would be straight to Christmas, eh? With nothing... Ooh. Do we want to come back and catch uh, Saving Mr. Banks? Because that came out today. Actually, yeah, I did hear about that. Mmm... What's coming we'll up next is to be decided. <laughs> yeah. We'll Stay tuned. You might find a new movie. You might find an old movie. Yeah. Well, anyways, freezing freaking cold. Got to turn on the defrost. Yeah, got to turn on everything. Got to get out of here. Alrighty. This is Nerds of the North and the voice from the dark. <laughs> we shall see you all later.